That's the key. Well, um, so is this person bad at seeing far things or bad at seeing near things? Far things. Yeah. Bad at seeing far things. In fact, they can only see things that are about two meters away. This person's blind as a bat. All right, so we want to fix that. So um, now the whole point here, what, what's the question asking us for? To find the focal length that will enable her to see distance objects. Good. Well, we should already be able to predict, uh, are they going to have converging or diverging lenses? Uh, diverging. They're nearsighted. Nearsighted means the light is con uh, converging too near to the lens, so they need to diverge. Good. So, uh, okay, that's just a, a check on ourselves. All right, so um, we need to figure out what focal point will correct their vision. So when you use the lens mirror equation here, you want to assume corrected vision. You want to, um, now how, how, how can the lens, so here's the, uh, here's the contact lens. And here's the eye lens. How can the contact lens correct their vision? Well, the person sees just fine when they're looking at something 220 centimeters away. So the point here is to create a some, is to create something for this guy to see that's 220 centimeters away. Okay. Now, um, so we want to assume corrected vision. So how far are how far could the normal person see? They can see an object where. That would be the near point. So far point, infinity. Yeah, the normal far point is infinity. The normal near point is 25 centimeters, but here we're working with the far point. So we want them, so where do we want them to be able to see the object? Well, we want them to be able to see an object at the normal far point. So we should put the object at the normal far point. So what do I plug in for S? And then, what's it the job of the lens to do? The job of the lens is... To make it as though it's angling at 220 centimeters. Is to put the image at the actual far point. So the lens should put its image at the actual far point of the defective eye. So what do we plug in for S prime? 220. Okay. Now something should make us very uncomfortable. I didn't put a sign in front of this number. We want to get uh, in the habit of always putting in signs here. So what should that sign be? How do we know it's virtual? Because glasses and contacts always create virtual image. That's right. Because after all, we want uh, the, we want to put this at the person's far point, but the person's far point is way out here, and the light is going to be going out over here. So corrective lenses always create virtual images because the light goes to the right hand side of the lens, and the far point where we're trying to put things is on the left hand side. So you can see all our work will go for naught unless we can get the right sign in here. So then we get this one over infinity is zero. So what did we get? Now, actually, you could have caught yourself here because you got f was positive 220, but that didn't match our prediction. We had predicted, uh, so this is where the chart comes in, or this is just, well, this is just where our knowledge comes in handy. Our prediction here, so this is actually a very useful prediction here because then you would say, oh, yeah, I forgot that sign, and then you maybe think about it and see, yeah, this should come out negative here. So I didn't need 2.5 then? Not in this case. Yeah, not in this case. Also, this is a contact lens, so we don't need to worry about the distance between the lens and the eye. If it was glasses, that might be an additional complication. Okay, you're pretty sure to see a problem like this on the test. So um, I've never really quite summarized how you deal with corrective lenses. The point of corrective lenses is you're going to use the lens mirror equation. And the whole point of the, correct the lenses is to correct your vision. So we're assuming that they're going to work to get you to normal vision. Well, when you have normal vision, you're able to put the object at the normal far or near point, 
and then the lens makes an image at the eye's actual defective far and near point. So this person here had a bad far point. So you want to put the object at the normal far point. And then make sure its image goes to the actual far point. Because remember, once the image is at the actual far point, the defective eye can take it from there. The defective eye is great at seeing things that are 220 centimeters away. So if you put an image at 220 centimeters, it can see that just fine. I think your first in instinct was to put the 220 here, and that's a very common instinct. So the hard part is figuring out who's the S and who's the S prime. Well, remember, the whole point here is to see objects that are far away, infinitely far away. If this person had had a bad near point, then you would want to put the object at the normal near point, and then the lens should put its image at the actual near point of the eye. So it would be very similar, except that the, the normal near point is not infinite, it's just 25 centimeters. The first thing I would do tomorrow, if you have more study time, is redo the problems we just did. Because each of the problems we did was tough. Mm -hmm. um, and without going back and redoing it, you probably haven't really yeah. learned from it. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.